The Purge, Part 2. Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. So this is my second episode on keep it or toss it. So I'm going through my collection and I need to get rid of some albums. So today I deliberately picked three that I'm very on the fence about. I could keep these or toss them solely based on the music because the covers aren't that bad. So let's go over the first one. The first one is a Peggy Lee. Where did they go? And of course, I love Peggy Lee's voice, but this cover just is not too appealing to me. And so let's see if the music is gonna convince me to keep it or not. The second one is Godly and Creams, The History Mix Volume One. Yes, and this has the, the song that I loved, I used to, it used to be on MTV, I just loved this song when it was there, and that's Cry. I don't much like the covers, but man, do I like that song. So let's see if the rest of the album is going to convince me to keep it. And finally, I have this album by Philardo called Falling Up. Where's the up? Falling well, it's called Falling Up. I don't know. Where's the falling? Where's the up? Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's up. Now, this is a new album. It's it, it's a new album. I've just never played it. The cover is kind of nice, but I grabbed it because of, you know, it's not that good, and I've never listened to it. So, let's see if the music is going to convince me to keep this one. we we'll be back later with my judgments. So I've listened to this album twice and I want to go ahead and talk about it. This one is, like I said, one of the difficult ones. Uh, I really like Peggy Lee, but I guess this is from later in her career. It's around the 70s, I guess. She covers some rock hits, some soft pops hits. For example, Help Me Make It Through the Night by Chris Christopherson, My Sweet Lord by George Harrison. She also covers Sing, the song that was made famous by the carpenter, you know, sing, sing a song. Then she has a couple from musicals, I Don't Know How to Love Him and Losing My Mind. I've known so many men before. Uh, and then there are a couple like Burt Bacharach type songs. So basically this is um, an album of her singing other people's music, which is typical of her, but she sounds tired on this album. For example, I don't know how to love him. So I'm a big Jesus Christ Superstar fan. Like I like that music a lot. And I think Yvonne Elliman really nailed it. But her version just, it, it doesn't compare. And she's kind of like, it's kind of like sing talking. Like I actually, I know this is probably bad to say, but I feel like I could sing better than she is on this album. Like honestly. And I don't have a great voice. Don't worry that it's not good. I was actually kind of singing along and I know we can't really judge that but I was like matching her like she was just kind of like talk singing and I don't know if it was because it was later in her career or what but this album just is not very good now there was a song on here I was born in love with you now it's um Le Grand Bergman Bergman so that must be from a song or a musical that I don't know and since I didn't know it I actually liked it the most I guess I was comparing what she was singing to other people's versions, but that's the risk you take when you're doing other people's materials. Like you're supposed to actually do them better than the people that you're uh, covering, or at least bring something new to them. When did they slip away? Now here's the problem. I don't want to keep this. It's a two to three dollar album, maybe five dollars at the most on Dis Discogs. But there is no CD version of it. There is a CD version that's a twofer, but it's out of print. It's, I think the other album is I Want to Make It With You. You'll see a picture of it on the screen. The, and it's not available on Amazon, even from second market sellers. And there's only one on eBay. And I'm laughing because it's $56.75 in United in American dollars. And there's this little sign that says, great price. I mean, come on, seriously? $60 for a cd i don't think so that's ridiculous it's a twofer now but the thing is that it's readily available on spotify but you know who can trust you know digital media you don't know if that's always going to be around now we take it for granted that it is 
But that doesn't mean it always will be. There's things taken off Spotify all the time. So I have a, I don't know what to do with this one. I didn't enjoy it that much, but it's not available on CD. I do like Peggy Lee. It's, I don't know, it's it's a hard one. I think I might set aside um, some recordings that aren't available on CD and, and put them separately. And then I'm just going to have to think it through. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I just might like revisit them in a year or so and, and say, oh no, well, you're just taking up too much space. What do you think about this? Should I keep it because it's not available on CD? I don't know. That's a conundrum for me. But based on the music alone and the cover alone, I would not keep this album. So the second album is Godly and Cream's The History Mix Volume 1 with the hit Cry. And it says that Wet Rubber Soup was a hit. I don't remember it being a hit in the United States, but maybe elsewhere. I don't know. I looked online. This is available in CD, although it's it seems to be out of print. And there's a cassette of it. The cassette is cute. It has a banner up here. And then it has this, and then below it, it has this. So, you know, because it's like uh, rectangular. So that's kind of nice. Now, the inner sleeve is also nice because it has the <laughs> picture or something. I actually which should, I actually should keep it just for these, <laughs> just for those sleeves. I'm thinking about it. Those sleeves are kind of cool. This, unless I decide to keep it for the sleeves, the inner sleeves, this is something I could give up. Although I really enjoyed the music. I really enjoyed the album. It's got a rap in it. It's got, I don't know what you would call this electronic dance. It doesn't seem to be either. I'm not sure what you would call this. It's kind of electric pop, maybe. If you've heard the song, not, 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 19, 19, it's, it's kind of similar to that. Although it goes through different uh, songs and variations. It's not all like that. It does have some questionable lyrics. At one point he says, I'll be the dog and you be the bitch. <laughs> So I was just like, hmm. But otherwise, this is a really fun album that I think is going to have to go. And remember, there's good things. So the final album was this Filardo Falling Up. I bought this used pretty cheap because I, I it was new. Uh, well, obviously it was used, but it, it seemed new and, you know, very little wear. And I didn't know anything about it. So after listening to it, it is very nice. I guess it's electronic pop. It sounds like uh, an indie artist making his own music and selling it. And I looked and only MP3 seemed to be available. So maybe this is someone who is on Bandcamp and didn't make CDs, but, you know, put out a limited run of albums. Will this blow away? It's from 2013, and the back write-up is, is pretty funny. Quicksand of darkness, overtake me. Now, inside, there is a download code. If someone wants to try the download code, well, there it is. It's used, so it might it might already be used. It had a, a lyric sheet on the inside, and it had a nice sticker. I'll probably keep the sticker. Nobody's going to want that. But as nice as this album, I really enjoyed this one. It was quirky. It, I heard kind of kinks and ecstasy in parts. But also it was just um, a, a voice kind of humming and singing throughout with electronic music. It's, it was very pleasant. It's very nice. So this one is really tough. This isn't available on CD and it's probably never likely to be available on CD. And it is a nice cover. It's it's pretty. But I think I, I've got to be strong. I think I'm going to have to give this one up. Oh, and on Discogs, this is going between 5 and $7. And I actually think this is something that mm, TCAT would like. So there you have it, my second entry. I don't know how I'm doing with this, even though I said I might keep the three, uh, like, I might keep the ones that aren't on CD. They are readily available in vinyl. Maybe it's, I need to just give them up instead of putting them in storage somewhere. I've got to be strong. I know if I take them to the record store, they usually take some of them and they won't take, they, they give me back the rest. And I just feel some of these aren't going to sell. Well, I can only try. 
And then if they don't sell, what I normally do is I just put them on the curb for somebody to pick up and somebody always grabs them. So there you go. I want to thank you for your support. What do you think about this? These three? What would you do? Would you keep or would you would you throw away?